quick question in in your view um, there's a there's a lot of uh, talk out there regarding uh, Bitcoin and blockchain what 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 is the difference in your view between Bitcoin and blockchain? How are they central? How are they similar? How are they different? Blockchain is one of the foundational technologies that was invented at the same time by the same uh, person or persons um, for Bitcoin, and in a desperate attempt uh, to co-opt, embrace, and extend this technology, many of the uh, companies and governments out there who are really looking at opportunities to create centralized versions of this, and are missing the fundamental point, which is decentralization, are grasping on this blockchain technology and trying to circle the square, trying to change this. So there is a bit of bargaining going on. When I say bargaining, I am referring to the five stages of grief. The response to Bitcoin has been denial, Anger, and now we're in bargaining. And the bargaining stage is, yes, Bitcoin, but not Bitcoin. How about blockchain without the currency? That represents a fundamental failure to understand what is the real value proposition here. The real value proposition is a decentralized system. The decentralized system itself only works if control over it is decentralized, and that only works if there is a mechanism by which the, the network can be secured. That mechanism is a competition based on game theory that involves miners, as they're known. Don't worry about what that means. But what they're doing is competing by staking a currency, Bitcoin in this case, or any of the other digital currencies, and using that to guarantee that they're going to follow the security rules. If they follow the security rules, they get rewarded again in the intrinsic currency of the network. And if they don't follow the security rules, they lose, and they lose the investment they've made in electricity or in currency that they've staked. That mechanism is at the heart of making the system secure. Without a currency, you can't do the security. Without a currency, you have to have a central authority that decides if a transaction should be included or not. At that moment, it is no longer borderless. It is no longer censorship resistant. It is no longer neutral. It is no longer open. Every participant must be vetted. If someone has control in our legal systems, they immediately have a duty, right? a responsibility, which means that you can't give anyone control, because if they have control, all of the other features go away with centralization. A better way to explain the difference between Bitcoin and blockchain is this. The new automobile has come on the scene. Horse breeders, stable managers, and horse carriage builders are freaking out. So what do they do? They say, the technology behind the automobile is the pneumatic tire. We would love to adopt this technology. We will introduce pneumatic tires to all our horse carriages, and this will preserve our investment in horses. Guess what? Pneumatic tires are great, but what's really interesting about the automobile is the no horses part. It's the actual internal combustion engine. And if you say, yes, we like that, but could we put a horse in front, you've missed the point. Blockchain is that. Blockchain is saying pneumatic tires are the future, but this whole internal combustion engine is a fad that will either die away on its own, or we will lobby government to ban it. That's where we are with blockchain.